avocado green, harvest gold, powder blue, dingy white, and maybe bubblegum pink. <laughs> I'm not talking about your favorite shades of paint. I'm actually talking about the old bathtubs, sinks, tiles and fixtures in your bathroom that could cost thousands of dollars to rip out and replace. Well, thankfully with Bathworks, we do not have to replace them. We can refinish them. This is a top of the line commercial grade refinishing kit that we could transform a bathroom in as little as an afternoon. I used Bathworks in my old 1970 shower and it looked great. So I wanted to help one of my neighbors get the same results in her 1970s home. Guess what she has? A powder blue tub. So in this video, you're gonna to get to see step-by-step step how we transform this 1970s powder blue tub into an amazing, glossy, long-lasting finish. And it's only gonna take probably about a few hours and maybe one or two kits. Stick with me, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. Before we begin, let's quickly review what's in every bathtub refinishing kit and talk a little bit about safety. The kit comes with Part A Color, Part B Hardener, a non-skid additive, liquid primer, and etching cleaner. And you'll also get a paint tray, sandpaper, a tack cloth, gloves, a stick for mixing, a foam brush, and two paint rollers. But there are a few items you'll need to gather on your own. You will need some Ajax or Comet, a razor blade scraper, paper towels, a mask, trash bags, painter's tape, a blow dryer, and a fan or a proper vent. And be sure to thoroughly review the instructions before you begin and have plenty of air ventilation. Also, if you have old shower doors you'd like to remove, you should remove them before beginning. Scrape off any leftover sealant as well. After clearing out all of your personal belongings and making sure that there's positive airflow as well as good ventilation in the work area at all times, we are now ready to clean the bathtub. It's important to start by cleaning your bathtub thoroughly. Scrub the bathtub with Ajax or Comet and pay special attention to the heavy soap areas. Any residual soap residue left on the surface after cleaning will prevent bonding and cause failure. We do not want this to happen. It's not uncommon to clean your surface at least two or three times just to make sure that you've removed all of the soap and all of the Ajax or Comet. And when you think it's clean, go ahead and clean it once more. You can never be too sure. This step is very, very important. After thoroughly cleaning the tub, if you'd like, use a razor blade or sharp scraper to remove the caulk around the bathtub or walls. This bathtub only had caulk along the floor, so I did remove that. So now that this tub is completely cleaned at least two or three times, we can now move on to the next step, which is the razor blade test. We wanna make sure that all the soap scum is really gone. So by running the razor over the tub, it should tell us whether or not we've removed all the soap scum. So let's give it a try. You wanna pay special attention to areas under soap trays and around drain areas. Please be careful when using the razor. When I gently wiped off the razor, I saw that I hadn't rinsed the tub very well. So had to rinse it again for a third time and I used the Scotch-Brite pad to wipe as I rinsed. And of course, after scrubbing and rinsing again, you'll wanna scrape the tub just to make sure that it's clean and this tub was definitely clean. But there's one more cleaning step you'll need to do. Scrub the bathtub thoroughly with the Scotch-Brite pad or sponge using the etching cleaner provided with warm water. We're ready for the Easy Etch. The Easy Etch kit will allow us to create that undeniable bond between the refinishing kit and the tub. Now we're only gonna use this on porcelain, glass, or ceramics. We're not gonna use it on fiberglass, plastic, or acrylics. This Easy Etch paste will help to remove any residual finish from your bathtub. Use the Scotch-Brite pad provided and spread it throughout the entire surface paying particular attention to the drain area, and don't forget the front. Now, if this is a claw foot, cast iron, steel, bathtub, or you're doing sinks and tiles, leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. This is a colored tub, so we're gonna leave this on for 30 to 40, and then rinse it really well. Next, while your bathtub is still wet, use the sandpaper that came in your refinishing kit to thoroughly sand down the tub. You'll wanna pay particular attention, again, to the drain, and rinse really well. If you have removed old shower doors, you'll likely have some holes that need to be patched, or you may just have some chips in your tub. You'll wanna fill those now using the Bathworks Chip Repair Kit. Follow the instructions in the kit for how to patch and sand it smooth before moving on to the next step. 
If you've got a detachable shower head, give it a little shake to remove excess water. Then use a latex glove to prevent water from dripping onto the shower. Place it over the shower head. Tie it into a knot for extra security. And I always recommend tying a trash bag as well in case there's any leaking. You'll also wanna do the same for the tub spout. Again, tie it into a knot so it's extra secure. Once the faucets above and below have been secured, we're confident that there's no water that could drop on this tub. We are ready to dry the tub with a blow dryer. We have to make sure that we completely remove any moisture from this bathtub or it could cause the product to fail. And we don't want that. We want long lasting results. Be sure to dry all the parts of the bathtub, including the walls. Using the blow dryer, completely dry the surface of the bathtub. This is very, very important. Again, any moisture left on the surface could cause the product to fail, and I know you want great results. So pay particular attention to ensuring that the drain area is very dry as well. When the surfaces are very dry, use painter's tape around the bathtub and around any parts that need protection, including the tub drain. Your bathtub refinishing kit comes with a tack cloth. Use the tack cloth, rubbing it over the entire surface, cleaning any foreign materials from the bathtub or wall area. At this point, your bathtub should be smooth and ready to be rolled. You're now ready for the liquid primer. You'll pour the entire one ounce bottle of liquid primer onto the bottom of the bathtub. Using several paper towels, spread the material over the entire surface. Now remember, the paper towels will most likely soak up most of the liquid primer, so having a bunch of paper towels will prevent tearing and allow you to spread the primer much easier. And again, pay particular attention to the drain area and don't forget the front of the tub. Pour the entire Part B hardener into Part A color. You wanna mix it up really good, and after you've mixed it, let it sit for five minutes. If your kit includes a non-slip additive, pour approximately one to two ounces of mixed material into the provided non-slip container. And using the same stir, mix it really well and then pour the mixture into the middle of your bathtub. Use your small yellow roller, rolling lightly both vertically and horizontally over the same area several times to create a smooth, even rectangle and let this area dry for 10 minutes before moving on. If you've removed shower doors, you'll want to spray on a very thin coat of an oil-based primer called Kills Primer over the area where there was silicone caulk under the doors. Be sure to use paper towels to prevent any overspray. It's now time to paint. Pour the rest of the AB mixture into the paint tray and use your foam brush to dab the paint all around the edges where the roller won't fit. This will typically be along the caulk line of the bathtub. Next, using the four inch wide roller, roll the first coat of paint towards yourself. And remember, do not dry roll. This is very important. You always wanna make sure that you have a good amount of paint on your roller. And as you're painting, starting with the sides, you wanna make sure that you reload that roller often. You wanna keep it very wet. A good rule of thumb to remember to make this project easier to work and cleaner is to roll the inside walls of the bathtub, followed by the curves in the bottom, and you'll also want to save the front of the bathtub for last. A second coat can be applied right away following the same pattern, but be careful not to lean on the wet surfaces. And you'll want to dispose of all the unused materials and garbage as soon as you've completed the job, keeping it away from open flames, children, animals, or those sensitive to paint fumes. And of course, obey all the city and town codes for proper paint disposal. After 45 minutes, you are now able to remove the painter's tape. Very carefully remove it at a 45 degree angle. After removing the painter's tape, if you see any edges that need to be cleaned up, go ahead and do that now, but keep in mind these edges will most likely be covered up with caulk. Oh my goodness, this bathtub looks amazing, but we're not done yet. We have to let this dry for 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow and do the Bathworks Pro caulk and gun in one. It'll literally take all of two minutes to caulk this bathtub and that's it. We will be done and my neighbor will have a beautiful new bathtub. I can't wait for her to see it. It's just beautiful. Once the tub has thoroughly dried for 24 hours, use the Bathworks caulking gun in one with the adjustable trigger to easily apply the caulk and then use your finger to smooth it out. 
This is the easiest caulk to use because there's no caulk gun, it comes pre-cut, and each time you get really great, clean, professional looking results. So we are all done with this bathroom makeover and I have to tell you, it looks amazing. My neighbor is going to love it. So I've proven to you that you don't have to live with an old avocado green, harvest gold, dingy white, powder blue, or bubblegum pink fixture in your bathroom. You can refinish it. So for more information about the Bathworks refinishing kit or any of these products that you've seen in this video, be sure to go back to Bath dashworks.net for more information and you can have a beautiful bathroom too. Thanks for watching.